what's up youtube i am back with another video today and today i will be cooking i want y'all to cook with me i'm making some soup you know what i'm saying it's a little chilly outside so i decided i want to make some soup you know what i'm saying soup is super quick well it ain't quick but you can make a lot of it and you can eat out of it so yeah let me show y'all what i'm doing right now right now i'm making my pinto beans you know what i'm saying and i'm using what i got because i don't feel like going to the store so yeah, let me show y'all what I want to put in my soup. So what I want to put in my soup is some broccoli, some celery that I chopped up, some kale, or you can use spinach or whatever, but I'm using kale, some carrots, um, red onion, and bell pepper. So this is all what I'm putting in my soup. This with my beans, and I'm about to let my um veggies boil in this water as the beans finish cooking. So yeah, let me put all that in there. I forgot to tell you, I'm going to add some um, chopped garlic in there. So, I'm going to chop this up as small as I can. And I'm going to toss it in with my veggies. So, yeah. Got the garlic in there. Stir this up. So, all the flavors can... Well, not flavors because it's only garlic. I'm going to add the flavors in later. Because y'all know I don't buy vegetable broth or nothing like that. I kind of make my own. So, yeah. Let this cook. All right, y'all, so everything is pretty much done. Like the vegetables, they're kind of soft the way I want them. The beans are pretty much done. So now I'm just going to toss everything, all the beans that I'm going to use with the vegetables, and we're going to season it. Favorite part. So I drained most of the water out of here. I just left it at the bottom, and I'm just about to transfer the beans over here. I'm probably going to do like five scoops of beans. I'm not going to use all these beans. I'm going to freeze the rest. Three. Four, five, let's see if that's enough. Yeah, that is enough. And I'm probably gonna add some of this liquid over here, but I'm gonna pick it up and do it. I can't do it while I'm holding the phone. Or maybe I can, let's see. Okay, get some of that pinto bean liquid. So yeah. So I got everything in there. You can add more water if you want it to want to, or less is up to you. I just think if I add more, it just makes the soup last longer. So yeah, now we're about to season it. So what I'm using for my seasoning is some liquid aminos, some nutritional yeast, some ground cumin, and black pepper. And I'm gonna use some tahini. I'm using tahini because a lot of people um like to put flour in their soup to make it thick. I mean, you don't have to do this. You can eat your soup thin like that if you like it like that. But I like mine just to get a little bit of thickness to it. So instead of adding flour to it, I'm going to add some tahini to it. Because if I don't have to use flour, I'm not going to use it. I'm trying to work my way around it. But I do still use flour if I need, need, need it. But in this case, I work my way around it. So, yeah. So I'm pretty much eyeballing it. So one, two, three, four. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm horrible with measurements. And with the ground cumin, I'm just going to, you know, do that. Do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. However much that is. And with the um, nutritional yeast, we just add a little bit in there. And the tahini, make sure you shake it. So, I'm going to put in like two drops. But one thing about the tahini, it definitely um, thickens up. So I put like three drops in there. So I'm just going to stir this up and just let all the seasoning and spices cook together. But it's going to be super good. Look, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Let's let these seasonings cook. So let me let you all in on a little secret. I mean, I don't know if it's a secret. I'm pretty sure other people might do this. But look. So when I'm making something, I like to put a little bit, like the soup is done. I'm right here, it's, it's simmering. So what I'm about to do now is put a little bit on this little plate right here. And I'm gonna taste it and see how I like the flavor of it. And if it's something I don't like about it, I'm gonna add something to it to, cause I don't wanna, you don't wanna do a whole soup like that and I'm not liking it. So it's best to put your little bit over to the side Taste it to your liking. You know what I'm saying? You might want to add something different to it than what I'm adding to it. 
I'll take away something. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm about to taste and see how I like it. It's good, but I don't, the flavor is not doing what it's supposed to do right now. So, let me work with the flavors right quick. Okay, hold on. All right, y'all. I tweaked it a little bit and figured out what I want to add to it. So, I'm going to add a little bit more liquid aminos to it. You know what I'm saying? Just do to your liking. And I added some onion powder to it. Even though I got onions already in there, I'm adding onion powder to it. But like I said, this is totally optional. You don't have to do this. You can add what you want. And I'm going to add a little bit more cumin to it. But like I said, taste it to your liking. And a little bit more tahini to it. Just to make those flavors just come out more and more and more. So we're going to let this simmer for about a good five minutes, okay? All right, y'all. This is how it came out. This is the pinto bean soup. That's what we're going to call the soup, honey. The pinto beans vegetable soup. And it is the bomb diggity. And um, I'm going to put... So I guess you can just add whatever you want to add to it. If it ain't doing what it want to do to the flavor, you just add whatever. You know what I'm saying? Put your own little twist to it. But I like to put my black pepper on last because I had a bad experience with cooking with black pepper. I cooked the food too spicy, so I don't like cooking with black pepper. I just put it on after I finished. This is the pinto bean soup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up for watching. I mean, don't forget to thumbs up. If you like it, thumbs down if you didn't. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.